There's a lot going on this week. And just this view, like, I'm sorry. America doesn't have this and it kills me. So freaking cool. And I'm responsible for her. You know you prepare for something, you just never really prepared. <laughs> oh man. How cute is she? <laughs> You're so cute. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday, 6.56, and the sun is just popping out from under the clouds. Last day here in Cairns, I have had a ball with basically my niece and nephew. I've just been spending time with my bestie and Jake. They're both just like really, really close friends. And I'm gonna miss them when I go. I see them like once every six to 12 months, I guess now, instead of once every three. Like I used to come up here or Cass used to come down to Brisbane so often. Obviously being in America and her having two babies makes it a lot harder. So yeah, just soaking it up. Anyway, Tuesday. There's a lot going on this week. There's a lot that's going to be going down. I'll give you a quick rundown before we start the vlog. Today, fly in at 11. I land at two and I'll probably go train and I'll probably go and grab some bits and pieces that I need. I've been craving some Allen snakes. I'm really, really wanting some. I also have a whole heap of food at home that I'm really excited to get back to. A lot of work to do, a lot of programming for my app, a lot of development stuff on the back end. And then Wednesday in the morning at 8 a.m. I'm getting my nails done. I'm not a nails kind of gal. Like, I'm as basic as it comes. Like the last time I got my nails done, I got them done a very nude color and it was just like a dip powder over the top. And it just felt weird having them done. Like I loved them, but they were just different. Prior to that, I probably hadn't had my nails done for like a year. And they were pretty long at one stage too. I'm actually getting my nails done by a lady who does silk extensions. So she literally does like to even out all your nails. She does silk that she use for the tips instead of acrylic. And then she does Biab, so build her in a bottle on top. I can't find that anywhere in St. George. I literally called up all of the nail salons and I'm like, do you guys do Biab? Like, build her in a bottle. And they're like, do you mean gel? I'm like, no. Well, it's kind of a gel, but it's a specific one. And no one did it, so I'm like, freaking rats. So I'm doing it one and done basically, which is sad. And then I have wedding dress try on because we still have our American wedding sometime. Don't know when, but it's going to be later in the year or the start of next year. And it's going to be cold in America. And the dress that I originally picked out is like this silky, super cute, but super little dress. And I'm like, I can't have that. I need something long sleeve and I need something that's going to be somewhat warm because I got the worst cold of my life at our Australian wedding because I was not rugged up. I need to alter my decision for this next one. So then we're going down south and I'm seeing my little second family, the Bakers. Kathy Baker's birthday was yesterday. Mick Baker's birthday is Wednesday, I think. And Alec and all the boys are going to be down in Byron at their Byron house. So I'm going down to say hi because I have not seen Kathy Baker in so long. And she's like a second mum to me. Then I'm probably just going to stay down that way that night. Thursday, Friday, I'm going to stay at Katie Martin's house in the city. She lives right next to my brother. So I can double up, I can see my friend, I can spend time with my brother. Saturday, we leave to go to the sunny coast and I'm spending Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday with my family up the Sunshine Coast. Gonna be training at the new O2 Performance Center there, which is so exciting. Um, and then the next week is obviously for the next vlog. So I'm not gonna tell you that now, but it's a pretty good plan. It's a pretty crazy plan. There's a lot going on. And the craziness of it all, I need to be doing all this work stuff that I'm missing out on from not being home in St. George. When I am away from like my home base or my office or the people I'm working with, I'll do maintenance because I really want to spend time with the people that I'm here to spend time with. But maintenance does not get me anywhere. Then when I get home, I've just got so much to do. I need to be a little bit better at that, a little bit more proactive with the work that I am doing while I'm here. So that I'm like pumping it out and actually getting somewhere with it. She's got a lot she needs to get through, but we're thriving. We're loving it. I've leveled up my morning skincare and instead of doing it in the bathroom over there, I'm doing it in front of the sunrise. Oh yeah, baby. So pretty. It's so freaking pretty. All right, <clears throat> let's get started with the day. Here in Byron. I 
barely filmed anything today. I couldn't really film all of it because one, I had my second wedding dress. Frick, this is not gonna work. <laughs> nope, you're good. <laughs> this is what happens when your friend was once your videographer. Woke up, 5.30. Drove to the Gold Coast, got my nails done. Love them. Then I had my wedding dress fitting. I had my American dress picked out already, but it was A, too small, so the size that they sent me was the same as what I tried on. But what I didn't know is one that I tried on initially had a zip. The one that they sent me didn't have a zip and it was near impossible to get over my fat head. So that didn't work, went in today, got refitted, tried on some new dresses, fell in love with one of their dresses. So I'm getting that done. After I drove down, I actually stopped in at Brunswick Heads, just chilled there for a little bit. And then I went to the farm and met up with Alec, Alec's mum, Alec's dad, Alec's little brother, and then like a whole heap of his family. We had lunch, it was super, super yummy. And now we're here. That's been the day so far. Checked into this place called 99 Acres Bangalore. So stunning. Al came with me to check it out. You love it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's not that far from your place, right? No, 10 minutes max. I'm meeting up with Tanya tomorrow to go have some lunch or something. And then yes. and a morning swim. Okay. I'm making her. She doesn't want to jump in. She said, like, no way am I jumping in in winter. Come on, Tanya. Come you on, sissy. Still. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. There's a lot going on. I'm so excited for this week. But anyway, let me show you this place because it's stunning. And there are magpies that just came out because I tripped over and accidentally fed them some muffin. <clears throat> this is my little rental car. This is the bungalow. Stunning sunset. So we come in. The front door's actually over there but we're gonna come in the slide door anyway. So on the little back patio, we have a hammock, stunning, and then little seats, and just this view, like I'm sorry. This is the most stunning view ever. We've got the lounge room, Mr. Alec Waker. Just a little kitchen area, which we love. Like this is so cute, this is plenty of room. <laughs> My protein. Take it everywhere. And then coming through and you've got a little bathroom to the right. Like plenty of room, great little shower head. And then coming back through that area, you've got your little bedroom. And like, that's a big bed, that's a king bed. Some robes, seriously. Like this is the cutest little place ever. And there's like five of them on the property you have the main guest house and then like five of these on the property, these little villa things. And they rent out usually for like $350 a night. I literally got it for $120. I booked it through my Amex. Maybe because it's off season, like it's cold. And I'm just chopped because it saves me driving all the way back to Brisbane right now. After a big day, you can see Al taking pics on my little Fuji. This is why I love Alec. He's like proactive. He was such a good photographer because he would literally just go randomly find a spot, take a photo, or like we'll be just be chilling and he takes like those candid photos of you. And that's why Steve and I have so many incredible photos over our time with Alec. He just knows what he's doing, this man. But I'm gonna actually get him to take some pics for me because this sunset looking so good. <laughs> Sing for me. You and I could be besties if you just wanted to sing. Little local markets. I've got donuts. Be delicious. No way. <gasps> the produce. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Like, are you serious? This is my problem. Like, America doesn't have this and it kills me. And you've literally got local produce in the middle of a little community hall. I'm sorry. So we're just gonna like all just marvel over Alec because not only is he somewhat like a creative genius with video and photo, he's an artist. Look at this. This is one of my favorite songs of Steve. Like we literally, this is the first song that we listened to on our first date. Vibes. This is Al's like literally like arched, you know, inside his house. What? Seriously, I, I really, like I need you yeah, to you do me like a retro yeah. vibe like that you 90s, the 70s. They just me the stuff. Oh my God, I'm Makes so sense. excited. Yeah. 
so I freaking cool. Good morning. Uploading. I'm uploading, lovelies. Oh, it says fifteen hundred dollars off. Off what? All inclusive Fiji. Five nights, flights, all meals, drinks included, alcohol. You're not being serious right now. No, I'm not. You have the money you need to save up for the US. <laughs> Everyone has a friend where it's like the one that just spends money on silly sh. I get like a kick out of booking flights. I booked my Sydney. And the one that's responsible. <laughs> and I'm responsible for her. <laughs> Be like. Tanya, what flight did you book today? Because you should have booked your return Sydney, flight. Gold Coast to Sydney. The okay, that's Ooh. good. That's a good start. I forgot you had to do that. Yeah. Do you have to do that on the way back too? No, because I did Hawaii to Sydney, Sydney to Gold Coast. Okay. So her flight Hawaii from LA, three hours. Ten. Ten. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> ten from Back to Australia. <laughs> ten from Brisbane. <laughs> um, maybe four. Because Hawaii is ten hours. <clears throat> yeah, three or four hours then. I'm gonna go get my vitamins. This is such deep meaningful conversations. <laughs> 13 minus 10. Mm. My bag of goodies. Firstly, probiotic. Mega zinc with vitamin C. Fish oils. Yeah. We want some. Do you think I need that? Yes. <laughs> you need a lot of things. <laughs> we need to get you as healthy as possible right now. I am quite healthy. I just can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> This, honestly, you're gonna be so surprised with how good this tastes. Oh yeah. You just wait. Can you, can you smell it right now? No. Oh, oh, Jesus. Smell as well. Oh, it's good. Isn't that the nice. best tasting vitamin C you've ever had? Tastes good. Mmm. I found it. We'll be getting lots of it. I'll actually probably get another one before I go back. You want a fish tablet? Oh no, oh, you yeah, can't do it. I just feel like you can't be an adult without swallowing tablets. There's so many well, tablets we need. <laughs> what happens when you get older and you're sick and you have to take tablets every day? They're gonna tell me to grow up. <laughs> like you're gonna have to smash them into a powder and put them into a drink. Yeah. But Tanya had a dream that I literally just got up and left back to America and didn't tell anyone. And I was so mad when I woke up. I was gonna message you back. Have you left? <laughs> Giving me ideas for what? To leave. I do miss my husband a lot. Yeah, I miss him too. You should bring him in. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody wins. Mm -hmm. You know who else probably misses him? Al. Oh. You know who else? Your family. Keep the list going because I'm pretty Steve sure you can add plenty on. Steve probably misses himself, too. Really. <laughs> <laughs> misses himself? Yeah. Like he's not himself when he's not in Australia. Okay, we're actually getting somewhat of a sunrise above. <laughs> the bin was in my way. <laughs> Apparently. There's koalas in these trees. So Tanya and I are gonna go for a walk soon. This is what we are looking at. See how foggy it is? Going for a swim. We've actually both got the same suit on. It's the Bell's one piece. I was kidding, trackies. <laughs> I knew this was gonna come in handy. Oh man. I'm gonna be hopping out of the water. I'm warm as f I'm just gonna be, Tanya, why are you so cold? Why are you shivering over there? <laughs> I wasn't ready. <sighs> Pump yourself up, Morgan. Ah! Ah! Take one avocado on toast. <laughs> BYO. Everything in the bit of bacon with sesame. Seasoning. Sesame. <laughs> and some bacon. And a hot chocolate. And just go outside and eat this. Well, we didn't have these friends here yesterday. They migrated. <laughs> uh, get it. You didn't like the radish before, but you can have it. Take it. The big one took it. The other one. 
That's it. Come on, fly away. We, before we head home, are heading to Uncle Peter's bookstore. I absolutely love this place. It's the most beautiful place on includes. It's like in the most random little Never town. Heard of it. We love it. It's all secondhand books and I literally spend so much money every time I come in here. It's so freaking cute. Like it's just this little secondhand bookstore and it's all the way through. There's like thousands of books. This is it. so cute. Isn't it so darling? I won't make it easy for you now. up my time and I don't really break too easily but I'm worth it cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh so give me so give me your all I'll take it I'll take it to Mars oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break in your sweet you're falling Saturday, 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 and we are checked into our stay on the sunny coast. I've stayed here twice before, and I've actually made a really lovely friendship with the lady who owns and runs this Airbnb, but it is stunning. I'll give you guys a quick walkthrough in a second. I just need to find my mother. <laughs> How cute is she? You're so cute. She was hiding from you guys. Are you still there? We kind of didn't, I kind of didn't. <laughs> you can come out. Um, it's on me right now. I actually didn't really feel much Thursday or Friday. I ended up staying with my girlfriend Katie on Thursday and then my brother on Friday. Um, I met Katie's boyfriend for the first time. He's super lovely, such a lovely person. But you know, when you're meeting people, like new people, the last thing you want to be doing is chucking a camera in their face. So definitely wasn't filming. And then with my brother, he isn't like mom, he's not a very big fan of the camera, so didn't really feel much with him either. So I also put on a tan and I need to wash it off because I haven't had a shower yet and it looks just very, very dark and blotchy. So I need to wash that off. But let me show you this place because it's stunning. Okay, as always, we've got the rental. She's cute, whatever. This is Seoul Beach House. On the Sunshine Coast, it's in Alex Headland. It's absolutely stunning. Fun fact is my family used to have a holiday apartment in Alex Headland growing up. Cute little welcome note. So that's the kitchen. Little area, living room where mum is. And then out to the right, we've got the laundry and then a little bathroom. It's like a half bath, it's in the go to the toilet. And then outside, We've got the outdoor area. It's got this cute little outdoor shower. Um, it's only probably, how far do you think it is from the beach? Like a couple hundred meters? Yeah. Maybe a K, not even. Little outdoor dining area, seating area. And then they've got this little plunge spa pool. Really cute. They actually didn't have this last time we stayed. Little lounging area, which I will be out there very soon reading my book. Barbecue. Beautiful gardens, coming back through, I'll show you the bedrooms. This is the most stunning piece. Like, <laughs> so incredible. So this is one of the three rooms. It's got two single beds. Um, coming through to the general bathroom. Cute little area. Coming through again. We've got this room, the double room. I'm actually gonna swap my stuff out with mum and she can be in this room because I do not need that big of a bed. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna grab her bag. <coughs> so this is just a little room off to the left. Really cute space, got a big cupboard too. And then the main bedroom is through this door. It's got a big king bed. It's got a little walkway with Heaps of stuff if we need it. Picnic, containers. And then they have their own little bathroom, which is super sweet. It's such a cute bathroom in here. This is the room I stayed in last time. But yeah, that's the house. <laughs> Do you like my outfit today? I literally, I'm living it up. Beach style. So that is where we are staying for the next couple of nights. We're actually checking out Tuesday, so you guys will see 
more of it in the vlog, in next week's vlog. I'm just waiting for my brother and his girlfriend to get here. We're gonna go play putt-putt at some stage as well, because that was, we did that for my birthday the year before last. Yeah. That was really fun. So, mom's just relaxing. She's got two staffies and they are obsessed with her. They never leave her alone. So she is childless today. And tomorrow, and then the next day, and the next day. She went from having babies, her kids all grown up now into adults, and now she's got two babies again. They'll grow up, and then what are you gonna have? More dogs. More babies. <laughs> Grandbabies. Yeah, <laughs> true, very true. Mum made brekkie. Did you sleep like that again? You gave me like six pieces of bacon, Mum. Wow. I always knew I was the favorite child. <laughs> Heading off to the beach, we got our snacks. Yeah. I got my protein shake. Get my thongs on. Got my outfit. Poem Sage Tally One Piece. I think this is literally. Oh no, this was our second one piece that we launched. This is so beautiful coordination. I wish I could juggle. <laughs> It is literally the nicest day out today. Like, it's winter, 24 degrees. Like, insanely nice. 